The Bose Soundware is a peculiar product at best. It's a wearable speaker that you place around your neck. It sounds good, but you can't really use it everywhere. It's an odd product that I feel can only be used in certain circumstances. It's cool, but it's pretty niche. So let's find out if the Bose Soundware is right for you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and you can watch some of my other videos here after you're done watching this video. Although I feel the Bose Soundware is only useful in a handful of scenarios, it's not cheap at all. The Bose Soundware currently retails for $299.95, which is slightly less than the more useful Bose QC35 II headphones, and the same as the Bose Soundlink Revolve Plus speaker. Bose also sells different color fabric covers for $29.95 each. If you want to pick this product up, I'll have links in the description below, and I'll keep them updated so you can get the best deal possible. The Bose Soundware comes included with a black fabric cover, a micro USB cable for charging, some documentation, and that's it. And first let's talk about the fabric cover. The fabric itself is very soft and smooth to the touch. It also stretches so it'll fit the Soundware perfectly no matter what position it's in. On the bottom there's synthetic leather that keeps the speaker in place when you're wearing it, but it does get warm quickly. And it zips up. It comes pre-installed in the box, but removing it and putting it back on is pretty easy once you get the hang of it. With the fabric cover on, the Bose Soundware weighs in at 284 grams. The actual body of the Soundware is covered in silicone. It also bends and flexes and it'll keep its shape so you can adjust it to your liking. And after a while, you'll forget you've been wearing the thing. On the right side, there's your volume control buttons and a multi-purpose button. Tap once to play or pause, double tap or triple tap to skip a track or go back a track, and press and hold to activate Siri. And if you get a phone call, the Soundware itself will vibrate and you can accept and end calls by pressing the multi-purpose button. On the left side, you'll find the power button, a micro USB port for charging, an LED battery gauge underneath, and a Bluetooth button. And whether you have the fabric cover on or off, it's very easy to tell which button is which just by touch. Concerning tech specs, I'm assuming the Bose Soundware is using the same Bluetooth 4.2 setup as the Bose QC35 II. It can be paired to two devices at the same time, and wireless range is at about 40 feet. It also does a great job of keeping a solid connection through multiple walls, which I feel is even more important for this type of product. Advertised battery life on the Bose Soundware is 12 hours, but realistically, I've been averaging about 8 hours. But it does have quick charging. Plug them in for 15 minutes, and you get 3 hours of playback time. And technically, the quick charging on the soundware is slightly better than the Bose QC35 II. The Bose Soundware has two upward facing speakers that literally shoot sound right into your ears. It's like having surround sound with you everywhere you go. Actually listening to the Soundware while you have it on sounds completely different than if you were to listen to it slightly away from you. In general, it sounds really good. There's a lot of deep bass, so much so it'll even rattle on your neck sometimes. The low ends might be a little weak, but that's because the speakers themselves are pretty small. But if you crank the volume all the way up, it gets so loud that people have to shout to get your attention, and there's very little distortion at those higher volumes. Mids and highs are also very clear, and there's almost never any raspiness. My one complaint is that I do feel the mids and vocals might be a little pushed back at times. The Soundware also connects to Bose's Connect app. Aside from being able to see your current battery status and adjust your settings, you can also reduce the amount of bass the Soundware has. But interestingly enough, you cannot increase the bass. But that's not really a problem because they do have a lot of bass to begin with. But obviously, if you listen to music with the Soundware, people around you are going to hear it. And if you're in an area with a lot of noise pollution, then you're not going to be able to hear your music clearly. You can't really wear them on your commute to school or work or at the gym or at the office because people will hate you unless you have your own office. But still, you're better off with headphones. And if you want to listen to music while you're at home doing chores or working from home, you can achieve the same surround sound effect by syncing two cheaper portable speakers together and set them up on either side of you. A few scenarios I can think of where the Bose Sandware might come in handy might be for people who want to hear music while they're casually bike riding around the city and need to be aware of their surroundings. It could also be useful for people who want to have music with them when they're out walking their dog, out on a stroll, or maybe even hiking. If you're doing something that requires you to go from room to room but you still want your music with you, the Sandware might also be handy. It might even be useful for VR. But even though the Sandware is water and sweat resistant, I wouldn't recommend it for running or cycling. If you run with them 
them on, you're just gonna have this mass dancing on your neck. And if you sweat with them, the sandwear is just going to collect more sweat and it's going to become this hot spot on your neck. But I do think the sandwear might be a good solution for people who live in an apartment and still want that surround sound without risking bothering their neighbors. At max volume, the soundwear is no louder than a small portable Bluetooth speaker playing at 75% volume, but when worn around your neck, the sound is very immersive and impressive. So I think you could use it to watch movies with the surround sound and feel like you're at a movie theater without risking having your landlord knock on your door. I also think the Bose Soundware is great for taking phone calls. It has a really good sounding microphone. Even if you talk very softly, it has no problem picking you up. Even if you're walking or if you adjust the soundware mid-conversation, it's not really going to mess up the audio. But again, this audio clip is being recorded by the microphone on the Bose Soundware, so you can be the judge of that. Although the Bose Soundware has a great sounding microphone and you're supposed to wear it most of the time, I think Bose messed up by not including the quick action button like they did on the Bose QC35 too. If the Soundware had an action button that gave me quick access to Google Assistant, I think it would have been more of an incentive to actually wear it most of the time, because that way it would have been more than just a speaker that rests on my neck. But I guess Bose needs an excuse to come out with the Soundware Series 2 next year. Although the Bose Soundware is cool and sounds great, I can't really recommend it to most people. For starters, it's not cheap. It costs $300. And sometimes when I put it on, I can't help but wonder, why did I buy this? And wouldn't I be better off using headphones or a speaker for this situation? Like I said, you can't really wear it in public because you're going to disturb people around you. And if you're just going to use it at home, then you can get some great sounding speakers for less. And you can't entertain multiple people with this speaker. I commend Bose for trying new things, but unless you fit the scenario, as I mentioned earlier, I wouldn't recommend picking the Bose Soundware up. But comment below, how would you use the Bose Soundware or another similar product? Hey, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It helps out more than you realize. For more product reviews and deal alerts, check out jimcandy.net. If you want to support the channel, pick up a shirt. And I'll catch you next time.